Hey everyone, my name is Christy. Welcome to my corner. Thanks for joining me today for Flossmas's 20 and 21. It is actually, well, I don't have coffee because it is 8.30 at night on December 20th. And I did not film a Flossmas earlier today, which I'll talk about later on. And I won't be filming a Flossmas tomorrow, even though this is, the, even though you'll be seeing this video tomorrow because my husband and I are going on an adventure to Ikea. So, and that's gonna be an all day thing because it's far away. So today I have some stitching to show you. I have two tiny presents to open. In fact, I probably should like organize myself here. I have some, a little bit of uh, shopping. I have a little bit of Happy Mail. Yeah, so let's get started. First things first, let's do our Forbidden Fiber Co. Advent calendar. Uh, and so this is uh, for today, day 20, which is a floss and a piece of the pattern. And so I will, I'll look at the floss and then I'll show you the pattern. Well, I won't show you the pattern. I'll show you where I am on the stitching. And Oh, it's another light pink. This must be the rest of the face. So it's another light pink. Um, this is a peachier pink than the previous light pink that I just used, that I just saw. And let's take out my, my pattern and let's see where it is in the new pattern. So it is called it's called Fanny. My UK people will laugh at that, but blame Dickens, man. Although his name's, his name's Dickens. So, you know, poor guy. Um, okay. Let's see where this is. Sorry. Yeah. So it's the rest of his face and hands and that's it. That's where it is. Okay, so let me show you where that is. Um, I am, I have not worked on this since yesterday uh, and I am almost done. So basically, not almost done, but I am caught up on the ball on the person. Um, so basically it kind of like fills in his face, fills in some hand stuff and fills in some hand stuff. And that's all. Um, there are 31 stitches. <laughs> 31. Cool. That'll be easy to do tomorrow, maybe, when I get her back. Uh, so here are my flosses. I used the ring from last year because they were a problem. But here is yesterday's, which was Belle. And here is today's. Yeah, so it's like a little bit like dustier, grayer. Yeah, so that's that. So I will put that on tomorrow and I'll work on this for what? The 22nd, which is Friday. But let me just show you where he's coming. He's coming along pretty well and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this is coming. He's like a dude. I am gonna definitely have to figure out something to put at the top because that's a lot of space <laughs> for words that I might not do. Oh, sorry. Whew. So it may end up being like, yeah, I may, I may take that white and put in some, maybe even the pinks and the blues and stuff too, and put in some, uh, large stylized snowflakes and stuff. I'll have to, I may steal something from another pattern and stick it in there. I just don't love words unless, I don't know. I'm much more apt to put this somewhere if the words aren't there. That's really all that I worked on. Uh, I spent the day uh, doing mailing. So all my packages are mailed out. They may even get there before Christmas. They're supposed to, whether they do or not, we'll see. They may even get there before Christmas. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of all I've been doing. I had planned on taking today as like a stitching day. Uh, and I didn't post this morning because 
I had to go, oh, I need to give you an update on my computer. My colleague in IT said that he had saved my files from my dead computer, and so I went over to get them, and all he had were my pictures, which are, which is fine, but what I really need are like my PDFs and my videos and my pattern files, and I don't have any of those. So he's running it again. He's running sort of the recovery again. He ran a short recovery instead of like a full recovery. But our university's closed now. Our university's closed until like the second. So I won't have any, I won't even know if it's worked until the second. So I just have to basically make do. And the, yeah, and see what I can find, see what pictures I can find on my, to like recreate the patterns that I want for next year. But I don't think I, I don't think I made them into pictures. So I think I'm just going to have to read chart at least the January one. I don't know. It shouldn't take very long. And so it's fine, but it's still really annoying. So that happened. And then, um, sorry, I'm going into my little bag here with stuff. Then I, oh yeah. So the way my property works, the way our property works is it's a normal kind of corner lot in a city, in a town, but it ha it's all building. So it has our main house, which is right on the corner. And then we have like a workshop and then we have another tiny house that was used as a rental, a rental property or like a, an in-law house or something like that. And so I've turned the living room and that's what this room is, the living room of that tiny house into my art studio. Well, behind this wall is a get is a bedroom that was just storage. So I'm turning that bedroom into my office because my husband's starting to work from home. And so he needs the bigger office in the main house. And so I'm moving on. I'm kind of like taking over this tiny house for all my stuff, except that we have like a million mattresses because furniture donation places will take it. So we can have them pick it up and they'll, and donation places will take it. Donation places don't take mattresses. Our town doesn't just pick up mattresses and we don't have a truck to take the mattresses to the dump. So, uh, we are right. We, I booked a truck for Friday to, um, get those mattresses to the dump. That was, that was the plan. The plan has changed, but that was the plan. And that way I could go to Ikea, which I'm doing tomorrow, which is super exciting and, uh, get some bookcases and turn that into like a really nice office for me. So I called our waste people, our like trash people, our garbage people. And just to make sure I knew exactly that I needed to do what I needed to do. Well, Ruth Ann gets on the phone. I don't know Ruth Ann, but she's lovely. She's like my best friend right now. Ruth Ann gets on the phone and I'm just asking her just what we need to do. And I said, okay, great. We rented a truck for Friday and we'll do it then. And she's like, oh, I don't want you to have to rent a truck. Where are you? And so I told her where we were. And she's like, you're right by us. Let me see if anyone's available to come do to come get it. I'm like, okay, great. You know, it's fine. But either way, it's fine. Five minutes later, I get a call from this guy. Hey, I hear you have some mattresses. Yeah. Well, I'm really bored and have nothing to do. And I need to leave this office. So I'm going to come and get those mattresses now, if that's okay. <laughs> like with the big truck. And I'm like, okay. So we literally had five minutes to dig mattresses out of, and TVs out of like our storage rooms. So we got rid of a king size mattress, two queen size mattresses, two queen size box springs and four TVs. And we didn't have to haul them anywhere. Like they came to our house to pick them up from like, just because I, I, Ruth Ann was like, very nice to me. So one of the TVs was actually what I was planning on keeping. It was a, you know, a box TV, like a big TV, uh, like from the, from like 2000, well, 2003 to be, to be specific from 2003. And it had a DVD player and a VHS in it. And I was going to keep it for my new office. And I think I had mentioned it at one point, uh, to the driver when I was talking to him and he's like, Oh yeah, I'm excited about that. The, the, the TV with the tape recorder in it because I was going to, or like, I'm looking for one for my son. I'm like, Oh, I wasn't going to get rid of that one. He's like, Oh, that's okay. I'm like, you know what? You can have it. Like 
you, <laughs> like, I didn't have to, like, organize a truck or anything for this stuff. You can have it. So that's the other thing that happened this afternoon, which is why I didn't film after all my morning morning events happened because then that happened and then I went and had beer with a friend. That was like, that was like my day. So, um, now I'm talking to you and this is taking over for tomorrow because we're driving to Memphis, Tennessee to go to the Ikea in Memphis. And that is three hours away. So we're driving three hours to spend two hours at Ikea and drive three hours back. But I want a goddamn Billy bookcase. In fact, I want like three or four. So we're doing it. And I think after I get, after I'm done, like uploading this, I'm going to uh, Google, what do you do with like, oh, hot Ikea items or something like that. Okay. Sorry. And then I just realized that I still need to do the day 21. If you're, if you've been here this long, day 21, I forgot. I'm not used to doing two. So the way this works is that on even days you get the floss and the pattern and on odd days you get a little gifty. This is a thin gifty. What is that? Counting pins maybe? Yes, counting pins. Those are pretty. Look at those. Very nice. Oh, there we go. You can see that better. Counting pins. There's nothing like starting a new cross stitch pattern and realizing you need to count 50 stitches over to the left to start your next motif. While I try to break up our mystery style patterns to have as little counting as possible, we thought these pins might come in handy anyway. Use them to mark every 10 or so stitches to help you keep track of how far you've counted so you don't have to do what I do and recount 12 times before starting the next stitch. Now I recount 12 times anyway, but these are really cute. And these can go in my Biscorno that has all my other counting pins in it. My first fully finished Biscorno. Oh, speaking of fully finishes, I worked on my, um, what's it called? My lampshade. It's sitting over there, but I had to wash. I, I may have gotten the wrong fabric to make it longer. And so my stitching is a little kind of beiger than the fabric that I bought, which is a little like pinker. And I'm not sure if that's just because it's different fabric or because my fabric that I stitch in hand is dingy. So I washed it and I had to wait for it to dry and now I have to iron it and then um, bring it back to work, basically. So that uh, that is happening, but it's not completed yet. Uh, I hope to complete it Friday. That's my hope. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to talk about is happy mail. And I had a friend that uh, from Iowa, uh, her name was Katie and her mom, Anne was, is just a delightful person. And she had the household that, um, like hosted the, we called ourselves grad student orphans. So like the grad students who couldn't go home for holidays, like, uh, Easter and, and Thanksgiving in particular, she would basically like adopted us and would host Easter and Thanksgiving dinners for us. And so I spent many, I spent numerous holidays at her house and she sent me bowl koozies. I've already used them. These are amazing. So basically you like put your bowl in them and you microwave your food in them and then you don't have to touch the hot bowl. Cause my bowls get really hot, like super duper hot. Um, this is amazing. So I haven't uh, messaged her yet, but I will message her and thank her for these. So I got those. And then I also have some purchases to show you. Um, I bought some more vintage fabric. I bought some more vintage fabric today too, but I got some vintage fabric in. So I will show you. So I got this plaid. That's showing up pretty true. I got this weird people and houses, which I love. I got this fun carriage. I feel like my, I feel like my, my, um, what's it called is dirty. My lens is dirty. And then I got this floral. 
So that is the fabric purchase. And then yesterday on the 19th, I talked about the, the planters that I had gotten. And so I wanted to show them to you. Hold on, let me get these out without breaking them. Okay, so I have a small one and a medium one to show you. The small one is this lady. Isn't she wonderful? So this is how big she is. She's the small one. And the big one looks just like her, only with vertical stripes on it. Kind of like my medium one. Isn't she lovely? Uh, yeah, so about the, the big one is about twice as big as this one with the green stripes. And then we have this lady is the middle one. And this lady is the small one, and I got two small ones because there weren't any medium, other medium or large ones. I got the only ones that I saw. They bring me so much joy, so much joy. So I don't know exactly how they're all going to fit into my bathroom decor, but I love them so much. Aren't they wonderful? Aren't they completely wonderful? Oh, they're completely wonderful. I love them. So these are my two little, these are my two little ladies. I'm not going to put them like that. I was going to, they've been nesting. And then finally I went to Michael's to get some stuff and I found clip on flippy uppy things. So these I think are good if I'm working on something and I don't have to look up much. So like if I'm like, I can't watch something and also work. They basically are, they're like an, um, one and a half times and they do really help. So I need reading glasses, I mean, or bifocals. And so these essentially take the place of bifocals. So yeah, so they really help with the reading they don't help with the seeing far. But I got those at Michael's and they were not very expensive and they clip right on any glasses. So I'm really thrilled. So that's all the stuff that I have to show you for today. The plan, like I said, tomorrow, which is the 21st, Thursday, it, it, which is when you're gonna see this, so today for you, but Thursday, is we're going to Ikea to get my billies. Oh, and meatballs, obvs. And yeah, and I'm not planning anything else. I mean, that's at least eight hours, I would say, with a lot of driving. So that is our excitement for the day. And oh, excuse me. <sighs> and so I will see you again on Friday, the 22nd, where we will open our penultimate floss and pattern. But that's for Friday. All right. That's it from me. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, oh yeah. If you're interested in hanging out with me some more, please subscribe and like and comment and all those things. It helps spread, spread the, <laughs> the Flossmas joy. And, and I will do a tour of the spaces when they're organized after I get all my bookshelves and stuff like that, because I'm feeling really, I'm feeling really like I want to get this place back not back to get this place to a reasonable organizational scheme. Um, and it'll really help when that room is, uh, has storage and stuff like that. So, all right, friends, uh, have a great day. Please take good care of yourselves and have a good one. Bye.